Hey team, this week we're gonna work on the third self-defense in the new cycle and it's a technique called silent escape and the attack is a hammer lock. Hammer lock is just somebody grabbing at the wrist, pushing it up behind your back like this, probably gonna put their hand on your shoulder as well to kind of control you. Uh, Mr. M's gonna walk us through it. Soup, ah, stop, stop, stay back. So real quick now, we'll break it down. First thing he's gonna do is counter grab. So he's grabbing my wrist back so that I don't have the control anymore. He's gonna step around, do a little whipping motion with his hands to flip me over, and then he's gonna punch to the floating rib. A couple of things we wanna watch out for, team, is wanna make sure that flipping motion is a little flipping motion, not a big flipping motion. So Mr. M's gonna show the big flipping motion, which allows me to kind of resist and fight back because there's too much time, versus a tight circle where he flips me right over, very well I might add, and then he's gonna throw that punch to the floating rib. The floating rib is the very last rib on your rib cage. According to experts, which I'm not, it's the easiest rib to break. It has the least amount of contact to the rib cage. And once you do, the person's gonna struggle to breathe and catch their breath because it's just that painful. So it is silent escape. It is a hammer lock from behind. Have a great week, team.